Hello crafty friends and welcome to week three of Sandy's 13 Frights Before Halloween 2022. This is a collab. There are 11 of us and for the 13 weeks before Halloween, every Monday we are doing a tutorial for something fun and spooky for Halloween. So I will list everybody's name in the description box. Y'all follow along or follow the hashtag and see what everybody's making. They're amazing creators. So, um, and thank you, Sandy, for hosting this. This is so much fun. So, I wanted, okay, so, if you have been watching me from the beginning, um, my craft room is my, what used to be my dining room. So, it's, it's, uh, and I also love vintage things, antique things. And so anyway, my a lot of my storage is vintage watch cabinets. And they have metal drawers that are like eight by eight. I'll take one out here. This is what they look like. Okay, so I have three pretty tall stacks of them. And, and we got them at an estate sale um, and the man had passed away, but he had worked at Sears. Well, he worked for Sears for like a million years as their watch repair man. And so every one of those was filled with watch crystals. And so I ended up with a ton of watch crystals too. So every time I can think of a way to use a watch crystal in my crafts, I do because I, I love them. And then they have that little twist of a little vintage something, something that's you know, getting new life to it. So anyway, um, my friend Crystal, I'm busy crafting over here. Hey girl, she did a um, video not long ago where she took a spider and uh, um, used a shaker dome and made the body part of the spider a shaker. And I know they're shaker dies, you know, but when I saw that I was like, ding, 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 I'll use my crystals. So then I started digging through my dies, and this was the, uh, the you know, I wanted a big one, and then that was the next thing. Can you imagine all those drawers filled with all those um, watch crystals? Well, I took them out, and we dumped them into these two 20-gallon tubs. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, there's squares, there's octagons, there's, you know, there's ones that are this big, and then they just continually get bigger, but... Because we, they're not in any order now. Just let me say that. So I had to search for, you know, what would be the right size of my spider. So obviously, I didn't want to just slap it on there, you know, like this. Because I felt like he wouldn't have, you know, a head section. And so I thought, well, I'll just see how big this is going to be. Lay it on the body. Trace around it and cut out the extra part and make him a head. And then when I glue this on, he'll have a perfect place for him some little eyeballs. And these eyeballs, I have a little package of them. They're like uh, weird little eyeballs. And I absolutely love them for Halloween. I think they're so cool. So I use, I'm use i using three different kinds. So here's my finish spider. And he only has two sprigs here, you can see. Um, this one I have already cut. And he has four sprigs. And this one I haven't done anything to because I was going to show you right quick how I did this. Um, but only on this one because, you know, you don't want to watch that over and over again. So, I just laid my circle on there. Saw kind of where I want it to be. And then where the legs, where I want the legs to come in, I drew that. And then just drew around the circle. Just as easy as that. And then right here, where his head is going to be, I just went in where the arms are and kind of curved it. And um, and then you just go in and cut those little sections out. And you've got it. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we'll be ready to um, fix these up. Now... When I cut the next section of this, this, this leg is probably going to fall off. 
because this die has this face embossed in it. But um, that's not a problem. We'll just glue it back on. And this, the same thing is going to happen with this leg. But like I said, no worries. We'll just glue it back on. All right. Woo. So just like that, you got your spider going. Okay. So let's glue his legs back on first of all. And then we'll move over to this one and get started. So and what I did was pick my, I chose my eyeballs and then I kind of chose what kind of sprinkles I wanted to put with the eyeballs. Cause you know, a spider's eyes have to have to be accentuated by whatever's going on, right? I mean, ah, yeah, whatever. Okay, so then I, I cut a circle that's gonna fit over that little body part just so I can make sure that it would go all the way to the edge. And I, I want to make sure that my crystal has um, good coverage so there'll be no leakage. You know, can't have a spider with leakage, right? All right, so we're gluing those on like that. Okay, now we're gonna glue our little eyeballs on. And oh, he's got three of them sticking up. And so I don't think I said this, but I took um, glossy accents and where the little hairs are on his legs, like with this one, I wanted purple to be the accent, so I went around it with purple. And um, I'm gonna go around the one with the red eyes in red and the one with the blue eyes in blue. So, alrighty, so there that is. Now, all that we have left to do is put the sprinkles in. So I used glossy accents and I put it all around the edge of the crystal and then I just kind of let it sit for a minute while I was get, getting my um, sprinkles in there. And uh, you know, you just take it and rub it around there. And then sit it like that. And this one too. And if you get too much on there, of course it's gonna dry clear. It will be shiny, but you know, I don't think it'll be too distracting. But in, um, like it's running down in a few places like that. So I just kind of try to take the nozzle and go back around there. And then if it's on the outside, I try to rake it off with my finger. If it's on the inside, I leave it alone because I have made too many messes trying to fix something that um, I should have left alone. Okay, so this little mix I made to go in him. I thought I had a tiny little spoon out here. I'm gonna have to have a tiny little spoon. Okay, so can you tell I like vintage things? <laughs> So this mix has got the colors of his eyes. It has some orange in there. It has some candy corn. <laughs> Get another little piece of candy corn in there. I don't know, I love me some candy corn. All right, so I can see that that's probably gotten a little outside of where it needs to be. I'm just gonna push it in a little bit. Like that. And then I'm going to pick one of them up and carefully place it over. Press it down. <laughs> and I'm not going to pick it up and shake it because y'all know that would be a disaster. But once it's dry, it'll be good. Oh, I didn't put his eyeballs on. All right, so there's one eyeball. There's another eyeball. Y'all can imagine how fast this would go. I mean, I think it's pretty fast anyway, but if you had a, um, if you already had a dye that you didn't have to do anything to. So in this one, I put these kind of reddish golden, almost flowers, and then 
tiny little red, really sparkly sequins. I don't know if I want to get all that in there. Let's see if I can without making too much of a mess. Well, yes, that was not too bad at all. Okay, and then the rest of this one, I'll just put in this little container here for another project. Another Halloween project. All right. Now let's take this. Uh oh, I got a little bit too much in there. Ah! Uh, and I waited too long, too. So, let's do this again. to check my other one and make sure because this is a pretty tiny little line but still all you gotta do is get glue on it yeah I can see the glue on it now let's see oh yeah that one's stuck I just waited too long on that one okay so now, um, let's take the blue, and all you're going to do is, I'm just going to hold it right here, because I know it won't go anywhere if I'm holding it there, and all you're going to do, all you're going to do is just make tiny little lines. And I'm also going to make his little hairs up here sparkly. Look at that. And I think this adds just that, it almost looks fuzzy, but it's, you know, it's the sparkle. Everybody loves a little sparkle, right? I'd be happy if I, I saw this spider out on my flowers. I'd say, ooh, he's a special one. <laughs> there we go. All right, now, let's do the red one. I had these upside down and I tested them to make sure I wasn't gonna get any blurpage. Because otherwise, I never know. Because I might get a little too excited with the squeeze. So, these would be cute just as decor. They'd be cute on the front of a card. They'd be cute on a tag. I mean, you could do so much with them. And they're so easy. Now, I know the average person doesn't probably have any watch crystals, but... There's other things you can use. Shaker dimes work. And maybe you can find some watch crystals. Or maybe if you really need some, tell me and I'll send you some. <laughs> I'll be happy to share. Okay, so what do y'all think? Maybe this, yeah, this one I could probably shake now. Although his, his legs probably aren't dry. See, isn't that fun? <laughs> I love him. Love him, love him, love him. Okay, well, there's week three. Y'all make sure you check everybody out in the description box below. Follow the hashtag and keep playing along with us. And let me know what you think. And let me know if you think you'll try this. Because I think it's pretty fun. Alright. Love you guys. Blessings.